Welcome back to The Compressor Guru. Today we're going to talk about an emergency situation that is coming up because of our extreme cold weathers. And uh, this morning I got up, it was 10 degrees below zero at 7 a.m. here in central Pennsylvania. And you may go, so what's this have to do with this thing you're showing us? What this is, this is a pressure switch and this is specifically a square D pressure switch and it's uh, very common on a lot of compressors and what I'm pointing to right here is the uh, spring and this main spring basically sets your uh, turn on and turn off pressure now this is a fixed differential switch some of you may have an extra some of you may have an extra post right here, a shorter post with a small plastic nut on, and that's your differential adjustment. This video is about this big spring. So, that spring is made of spring steel. And what happens to spring steel when it gets cold? It gets stiffer. This switch is preset at 175 pounds turnoff. However, on a day like today sorry about the camera work I'm by myself and I wanted to get this up quick because this cold weather is liable to be causing you troubles and I want to help you anyway that being said this spring is very temperature sensitive and so when it's below 10 degrees a lot of times your compressor will pump up and pop off your safety valve and when it does that the compressor blows down and keeps running and eventually the safety valve will shut off when the pressure drops low enough but the switch never operates because this spring is actually too stiff I've been out and adjusted two of these this in the last week and it's as simple as putting a nut driver on and you should turn your power off especially if you've never done this but put a nut driver on this is a 3 8 nut and turn it out turn it two full turns and then see what pressure it's pumping up to and if it's still pumping over 175 give it another turn or it, wherever you were previously set at is what your goal is to get back to now when you do this Next spring when the birds are singing and the temperature's nice and it's 60 degrees and it's t-shirt weather because this is horrible right now, you may have to go back in and turn this down. And the reason I said you go two turns is because when you go to turn it back up for warm weather, you want to remember that you turned it out two turns, just turn it back two, in two turns and you're back at your original adjustment. Friends, this is a cold weather problem uh, we have here in the north. Uh, I imagine if you have had your compressor outside for a number of years, you've already had to deal with this. But if you've put a new pressure switch on in the last year, or you have a new machine and it's mounted in a cold area, uh, you may be going, my pop-off's blowing off, what's wrong? And this is what's wrong. Friends, I thank you. This is the Compressor Guru. When that pop-off pops on a zero morning, you may be pumping too much pressure, and the first thing to look at is, is your pressure switch opening. I thank you. God bless you. Have a great day. Hope this helps. Thank you for watching this episode of The Compressor Guru. Please hit like and subscribe and use the notify bell so you will know when the next new episode is released from The Compressor Guru. God bless you and have a great day.